Hi everyone, it's Sue. Are you ready to guess what my next DIY project is? I'll take it easy on you this time. Just watch my changing backgrounds for some hints. Ah, sumptuous seafood. Sizzling steak. Savory stew. Succulent salmon. Suffering succotash, I'm getting hungry. Have you guessed yet? That's right, I'm going to be making a menu board. In the farmhouse style, of course. So I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from my coffee, tea, hot chocolate bar that I made with the shiplap background. So I decided that I would indeed continue the shiplap onto the other wall and build my command center. So step one is to create a menu board. And with lots of lovely inspirational ideas to put on there for meals every day of the week, your family and or friends can enjoy a lovely, entertaining meal. Bernie, what are you doing here? Well, I guess you could invite Bernie over for dinner. He is, after all, wearing his mask and mittens. Anyway, Bernie, you do you. So if you'd like to see how I create this farmhouse themed menu board, let's get started. I swear that guy shows up everywhere. I don't know. So I had thought about doing a reverse canvas to use the wooden frame for my menu board but then at the Dollarama I found this wooden picture frame with little clothes pins and it was only four dollars and it already had the picture hangers and everything on the back so I thought why reinvent the wheel? I'll start with that. So the wood on it was lovely but it was kind of a faux wood kind of look and I wanted it a bit darker to match my shelves on my coffee bar so I decided to put some painters tape along the edge just to protect the white and then I used my handy dandy shoe polish to put a couple of coats on it just to darken it up a little bit and it really brought out the wood grain so it looked a little bit more natural so I did the entire frame in a couple of coats of the shoe polish and then let it dry So I've got my boys and man trained that they cook one day a week. So that makes me only have to cook four days a week. Ingenious evil plot. <laughs> so this way I had a thought of putting our names on little magnets so we could put them on the clothespins and we know who's cooking on which day. So I had these little plastic magnets already, but of course some were black, some were white and there are seven days in a week and I only had six. So I had a thought of using one of the gems from the Dollar Tree and I thought I would just paint them all black. Then I could glue a magnet on the back of the gem. Now the board that I chose was not magnetic, but the little metal on the clips of the clothespins were and the magnets fit on there perfectly. I gave them all a coat of paint, including the ones that were originally black, just so they would have all the same shade of black on them. Then I took a white paint marker and wrote each of our names on there, mine four times, and then each one of the boys. Then I used some Mod Podge just to seal everything in and give it a bit of a shine. So I wanted to sign with the word menu for the top of my board. So I found this cute Valentine's Day one at the Dollar Tree and I decided to take the heart off and I was just going to paint over the letters with black paint. 
But once I took the heart off, I realized that the top was all paper and it was just peeling off and I could not get it flat enough to paint. So I decided to paint the other side instead. So my idea was to have cards that I could dry erase what we were going to have every night of the week for supper. So I took these index cards from the Dollar Tree and put two together with the line sides in because they were quite flimsy and then used my laminator to laminate them. You could also use the self-laminating tags that they have at the Dollar Tree for luggage. So I made seven of those and then I also used my Cricut to print out the days of the week and stuck those onto the board. So again, I was one clothespin short, but I found these little wooden ones at the Dollar Tree uh, and they were a little bit smaller than the ones I had, but you didn't really notice the difference. So I also used my Cricut to make the words menu for my board that I had painted black. And it was quite a nice treat to be able to use these big letters after doing so many delicate little tiny letters. So I just put the words menu on there and then I used my white paint marker again, just to put the stitching around the outside to match the Valentine's decor that I had in my coffee bar. And again, to tie in with some of the decor I already have in my coffee bar, I took some of the boxwood greenery that I got from Amazon and just glued some along the top by the sign. And there you have it, my farmhouse inspired menu board. Let me know if you have any great recipes that you can share and I can put on my menu board. See you next time on Discovering the Art of Living.